Are you serious? Are you serious? Well, you, you knew this was going to happen. It's, it's to ex be expected, really. When you have E. coli in the water, in the floodwaters down in Houston, Texas, you knew this was going to happen, and you can't blame anybody for it, but you have to be aware of it. And uh, according to Dr. Terry Gentry, who is an associate professor at Texas A&M University, They've examined small samples of both the drinking water and the floodwaters down in Cyprus, Texas, and they have seen, we have seen elevated, quote, he said, we have seen elevated levels of E. coli. He told this to ABC News, quote, he says, this indicates that the very likely presence of a pathogenic bacteria, viruses, and other organis organisms that could cause disease in some individuals. Well, certainly, uh, this is serious. It's, it's going to be, you know, because there's all kinds of raw sewage that come floating up during this flood of a biblical proportion. So we want to alert the public, and we want to pray for everyone down in Texas along this flooded plains of, uh, down along the Gulf area, uh, there is already confirmation of E. coli. Now, they've also tested the drinking water, and they they only tested for E. coli. They didn't test it for everything that could be in the drinking water. And the other thing is we have that, and, and the drinking water is safe to drink right now. But I would be very careful about drinking anything out of the tap right now, folks. Seriously, don't do it. And also... But the problem is you have, you have some places cut off where they ha there is no water. And so the desperation starts to set in, okay? Now, while this is going on, know this, that uh, we've had a chemical plant in Crosby, Texas, the, a suburb of Houston, an explosion, large plumes of toxic smoke in the air, fire burning, 15 firefighters, responders to the fire, hospitalized, eight of them still in the hospital, uh, and the city of Houston has turned off all of the air sensors. And I, I find this like, I wouldn't do that. I would keep those sensors on. You need to identify where the toxic air is. Uh, instead of just saying, look, we know it's out there. We're just going to cut everything off. Let's get the water down. Let's start working on it. Then we'll turn it all back on. I don't think that's the right approach. We need to find out a little more about who made that call. But overall, it's been a miraculous rescue effort by the, uh, all the volunteers, all of the fire departments, the police departments, the Texas National Guard, uh, the Coast Guard has rescued over 2,000 people themselves. The U.S. Navy's involved, the Marines, the Army, everybody involved, FEMA, has done a really decent job to get through this initial crisis. The Red Cross, the Salvation Army, churches and volunteers, the Cajun Navy, everybody has done a tremendous job down there in Texas and, uh, and Louisiana. But we're going to continue to keep a close eye on all of it. The drink, the, the, but the flood waters have been tested and there is high levels of E. coli. So be aware of this, stay on top of this, uh, and uh, we'll keep it on the forefront of what's going on. Uh, I'll put a link below also to Dabo77. He has a very good article or a very good video on this, and uh, we'll keep you up to speed. Don't miss today's live broadcast, uh, and that's the coming apocalypse. Starts at 12 noon Eastern at my website at www.paulbegleyprophecy.com. I'll go live everywhere at 12 noon Eastern. Be ready. Are you serious? Are you saved? Pray for Houston. Pray for Texas. Pray for everybody in the Gulf states.